Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 22nd, 2019. So I hope everyone had a great evening, ready to get after it this morning. We have a market right now that's trying to hold positively. Um, although we're, we're kind of seeing some back and forth, a little bit of, well, just a, just a little bit of back and forth as if um, the earnings um, are really starting to trouble the market here a little bit, but we're still holding positively this morning. So right now, as I begin this, um, this little market prep video, we're running about 15 points up in the Dow this morning based on the future. So let's take a look at the technicals of the charts, see what um, is happening here and see if there's anything we can glean from the information in these charts. So first off, let's take a look. We're, we're looking at this little gap up this morning, um, at least at the moment, that could certainly change dramatically over the next uh, few minutes or even, um, well, I'm just going to say minutes with all the earnings that are coming out this morning. If we take a look at our chart and just realize technically that we are still in a downtrend, we still have resistance highs here in the chart on the diamonds. Now, the Dow is having the toughest time right now with some big sell-offs in uh, Boeing um, and J&J. &J. Those are hurting the market right now, pulling them down. And it's um, it's really only affecting um, the Dow um, as of this moment. We have this ugly little pullback going on here. But we also have to uh, take a look at the fact that we're still holding above our 50-day moving average. We're holding above that 34 EMA. We're hanging in here pretty good, and we're still hanging on to some key support you know, uh, price support here in the chart, trying to hold um, things up. So as long as we stay in that area, I think we're going to be okay. But what we don't want to see is a, an, a round of earnings that, that sends us a lot lower. And, uh, you know, that could be that could be coming um in the in the sense that we have boeing reporting um earnings tomorrow so um that might be an interesting dynamic to to pay attention to with that report coming in tomorrow but for now let's take a look at today we're holding up relatively well notice that our 50-day moving average has started to turn back up providing just a little bit more price support in this area so i wouldn't be all that surprised with a little rest in here see uh, this be able to move back higher what we want to be a little bit cautious of we don't want to see the Dow slipping into this area down in here or we could fill this gap pretty quickly so you'll want to think about that if we do drift lower we could really fill this gap quickly come back for a test of the 50-day moving average so keep an eye on that let's take a look at the spy SPY holding up really really well um, managing to put push higher yesterday, even though the Dow kind of dampened things yesterday, kind of dampened everything down. But as we push up here, we're kind of setting up our opportunity to maybe reach out for new all-time highs here in the SPY. If we take a look at some of the price support in this chart, you can see we held right in this area and holding up in that price, that little consolidation in there, holding up and a a bit of a bullish pattern here showing up gapping up yesterday holding uh, that move and this morning we're looking at just an ever so slight gap up this morning but we're pushing back up to this resistance now one thing we have to keep in mind this has proved so far this year to be a very difficult resistance earnings can certainly change that we could pop right through there with earnings and i do think getting this close we i would find it unlikely that we won't at least challenge this level but it's really going to be up to the earnings, whether or not those earnings continue to come in um, strong enough to hold us up. And, of course, the uncertainties out there, such as trade and Brexit and all those things that we have circulating out there that could create a little bit of turmoil in the market as well. But if we look up here, we have these tops. So that's going to prove to be kind of a tough area unless we really see some 
good strong earnings reports that can move this market higher. So let's watch that close today, but SPY holding up okay. And there doesn't appear to be any threat here, at least at the moment, for uh, the SPY turning lower. But we always want to take that into account, that possibility into account if we gap up toward this earnings and end up with a pop and drop and that is when that when that market uh, gaps up in the morning um, gaps up tries to push um, show all kinds of bullishness in the morning we really don't have that today but we do have that small gap up where we could pop up and then we can't find buyers and it sells off so kind of keep that in mind i don't expect that but we always want to be thinking about that around price resistance in a chart. Let's take a look at the Q's. Q's holding up very, very well, showing strength here once again, holding on to some price support levels here in the chart, showing bullishness, kind of recovering from that ugly bearish candle on Friday. And we're pushing up this morning ever so slightly. Uh, trying to lift up a little bit more and you can see once again pushing up here toward those resistance levels that could be a little bit tough we we've had you know some damaging price action in here that um, will just take a little bit of energy to overcome what we don't want to see is that failure up here at resistance so watch for that let's take a look at IWM now, IWM kind of um, surprised me yesterday that it actually uh, kind of pushed beyond the other indexes but then by the end of the day saw that selling coming in a little bit of pullback a little shooting star top up here a gap away shooting star top so that can be okay as long as we get follow through to the upside we don't want to see that shooting star top uh, uh, pattern actually end up um, showing us a bearish look today because if we get that I would expect follow through back to the downside so keep that in mind if this can rest right in here consolidate in here we'd be in great shape we have some resistance or I should say support right now in this chart and of course lots and lots lots of resistance here in IWM that has to be breached if we're going to move higher along with this overall downtrend that we're trying to break through but if we can't hold up here could have a little bit of a problem just be another failure along the resistance line so let's keep a close eye on that and see how that uh, performs today let's take a look at uh, t2122 Oops. First, let's take a look at the VIX. Hey, by the way, while I'm doing this, guys, I wanted to uh, let everyone know I had um, a bit of a problem this morning. A short-term internet outage prevented me from writing the full blog. But if you want to um, go check out what is there, uh, just look in the description of the uh, video there's always a link back to the blog I want to apologize for not having the time to complete that this morning out of my control but um, hope you all understand um, about that what I am going to do in include in the blog and, and I want to draw everyone's attention to it um, we've been running a bit of a, uh, a sell uh, sell thing on a right way options hit and run candlesticks and what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a link in the morning blog it'll just be a banner you can see it you click on that and it will take you to a 50% discount um, of the service so if anyone is interested in that please take advantage of that and by the way um, you will when you check out make sure you do this okay um, the banner ad will take you to uh, the link where you can either choose you know monthly quarterly annually whatever you want and it'll give you a 50% discount but you must include the promo code and the, there's a little promo code in the checkout of save 50 save 50 and that will give you that 50 percent discount and by the way that stays with you forever it's not just a one-time thing as long as you stay a member of the service you continue to receive that savings so with that everyone let's take a look at the vix and you can see the vix is um you know just pretty amazing to me honestly with all of the 
all of the volatility, all of the uncertainty out here in the market, and I've talked about this before, how the VIX has just really shown no fear. There's um, not much of any kind of fear out here. And we held this um, held this downtrend and rallied back up, but at the same time, we created this little downtrend. And if I turn on some of the support and resistance levels that I pay attention to in this chart, you can see that we've dropped well below this this important um, resistance level and um, holding it so far as resistance so there's not much fear going on here if we got another good bullish day I could even see us breaking this little support and moving on lower uh, which really puts us down in here to what I call a little bit of a complacency zone where um, there's just so little fear that makes me worry a little bit about what may come next but for now we're we're looking really, really good, and if uh, the VIX rallies back up here, not a big deal as long as we don't fly through that resistance and we find some, um, something in there. So if we have to pull back a little bit, I don't think I would panic about that just yet. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four-week new high, new low ratio. If we take a look at the four-week new high, new low ratio, you can see in here that we have pushed up toward this bearish reversal zone. Now, this does not tell us that we necessarily have to pull back. What it does tell us is that we're reaching that point of maybe a short-term oversold condition. And you can see this, this is very, very consistent. Now, there are per periods of time where we can push up there and we can kind of hang out there. Earnings are a pretty good reason to hang out up there at that high level, but we'll have to wait and see how those earnings continue to come in. But as you can see, normally when we poke our head clear up into here, we try to find a way for the market to pull back. And we're so we're up here close to that bearish reversal zone, and we see that opportunity that we can still move higher. There's still upside potential here. So we'll want to watch for that. But we have also that pretty big downside potential where the market could just take a little rest or pull back and by the way I want to I want to repeat that can take a rest or pull back and that means we could actually consolidate up in this area and see T2122 relax and pull back opening up more space for an upside move if we just rest whether we'll get that during an earnings season I don't know but just keep that in mind just because we push up toward that level doesn't necessarily mean we have to just dive uh, back down. And what's been nice, um, I think, here lately is we're seeing a little bit of calming coming over the market. We're not getting the big whips that we've um, experienced here for a while. So with that, everyone, um, let's take a look um, at our economic calendar today because we do have a pretty big report here on the economic calendar if you take a look right here at 10 a.m eastern we have the housing sales number and that's usually a market moving number right now um consensus is expecting just a tiny little decline in housing sales. I don't think that will overcome um, anything um, in the earnings environment of the market, but something we want to pay attention to and watch um, if it were to come in as a surprise, um, either up or down, that could have a market moving effect. So kind of keep that in mind. We also have that Richmond Fed number. I don't expect it to move the market. And you always want to make note when we have have a Fed speaker out here in case they say something or reveal something that we haven't heard before. But I believe that to be pretty unlikely. So just keep those things on your radar for the day. Um, on the earnings calendar today, we have a pretty good number of earnings. Um, over 80 companies reporting today. We've got a lot of earnings coming in. You know, for example, um, Procter and Gamble. Procter and Gamble is reported this morning. Big gap up coming in Procter. Nice positive uh, notes this morning, and pushing up here toward those all-time highs in Procter and Gamble. Procter looking very, very strong. Also, um, saw earnings from BIIB Biogen, a big, big, big biotech. This thing is flying this morning. 
we were down here yesterday we're gapping up all the way up to here we're we closed yesterday at 223 we're gapping up to 316 um, holy moly almost a hundred point move on biogen um, so you'll want to uh, kind of keep an eye on some of these reports right now this morning we are floating around here about the same place where I um, I started this report about 20 points in in the Dow futures as these earnings continue to roll in keep in mind we have um, reports from um, companies like uh, CMG today that will report um, we have KMB Kimberly Clark reporting today we have some airlines reporting today um, we have some uh, casinos reporting today so we've got a lot going on here this morning that could move the market around um, and we'll want to kind of focus in on where those futures take us from here uh, could be a lot of back and forth um, what I what I was going to write this morning is the earnings are likely going to push or pull um, the market around and it's, it's hard to know which way that's going to go with so many earnings by the way those earnings only ramp up tomorrow they we get more earnings tomorrow with over 200 companies reporting so keep that in mind so let's take a look whoa there we go um had a little flash there on my computer let's take a look at uh, some stocks that may be setting up but before we do that i want to ask you guys for a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on youtube also click that bell icon when it pops up to make sure you're notified every time i post one of these videos i hope you see that um, if this is the first time you've seen the uh, seen these is that I try to avoid all of the hype that you might see in other places and all of the speculation or uh, prediction that so many places do and we just look at the actual charts the technicals of the charts what the price action is telling us and how we might want to think about approaching the market for the day so if you find that helpful please do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and also um, click uh, to leave a brief comment those help those algorithms show these videos to more folks continues to keep uh, to grow the channel and I want to say thank you to everyone who does that you guys are awesome 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 thank you very much you humble me every day so with that let's take a look at a few charts that are setting up that are looking pretty good if you guys remember yesterday I mentioned Roku and Roku um, did hold that support level kind of picked back up in here and as you can see we found that little bit of price support in here bouncing up and showing signs of improvement we might want to watch this in here and I, I wouldn't be all that surprised if this rests just a little bit more in here um, rest for a couple three days but right now we're looking pretty good here in this trend I would keep my eye on Roku and see if this can move on up to the next levels of resistance so keep an eye on that chart take a look at home now home I've been watching for some time and this consolidation in here is starting to stretch out and might be becoming just a little bit concerning but we still want to keep an eye on this uh, potential we have this uh, big open gap here and if we can hold in this area and get a little buying uh, action going on then we can push right up into that gap make a nice move overall really nice uh, potential chart take a look at um, C-O-T-Y, C-O-T-Y, making this big move out of this bottom pattern. I'm going to go over to this chart here and show you that we're breaking above the 50 and the 200, holding real strong, big, strong move today. And any rest or pullback could set up an opportunity in the trade. Now that we've broken through these resistance levels in the chart, we can look for a little rest, a little consolidation uh, to see if there's an opportunity opportunity to maybe pick up that chart and move higher another chart I want to bring to your attention is CC 
CC is a pattern we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. I got to tell you, this was brought to me by one of the members of RWO. And I, I'll tell you, one of the great advantages of um, our service is we have folks in, in uh, the service that have been here for years. And what that means is there's very good trained eyes on the market everywhere that provides helps provide um, good chart setups like this one that I hadn't seen until this member brought it up. And I just want to say um, that is one of the great values of the service is not necessarily me, but the great people that we have in the service that are very well trained and all of those eyes on the market. And CC is a rounded bottom breakout pattern. It's one of our favorite patterns. And you notice that we've got this little uptrend going here in CC. Breaking through the 50 day moving average and notice if I zoom this up a little bit, 50 day moving average is starting to turn back up. One of the key factors in a chart like this that's important to me is that we break the downtrend and we've done that. We've broken the downtrend and we've proven we can hold that 50 day moving average as support. And now we start moving this back up toward that 200 day moving average. Obviously we have some resistance to be uh, concerned about um, in this chart as we move up. This isn't a straight line move back up, but this could be getting that be beginning that nice little upside trend in a chart. So keep an eye on CC, nice chart. Um, one of the better ones I saw all day yesterday. One of the charts I've been bringing up over and over and over is LW. LW holding up beautifully in this trend. Nice little pop up and rest right here at price resistance. All we need is that bullishness to start breaking us higher here. And I think it could come at any time now off of this trend. So just a little rest in here and then um, we might be able to take off so keep lw on your list one to watch a lot of the retailers i mentioned yesterday finally caught a little bit of rest a little bit of pullback yesterday so charts like nike that have been in this big strong bullish trend what we want to do is be patient for the next entry any rest consolidation or pullback could set up that opportunity so with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Please remember to click that subscribe button. And um, I hope to see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great one, everyone.